Try playing with detached Joy-Con controllers. The most controls enable extra options. There are other control styles available as well. You get the point. Let's go on with the video. Here it goes. Super Mario Odyssey! Welcome to Super Mario Odyssey. Episode 44. Last time, we did a lot of... How to say it, except... Well... Koopa Free Running. And guess what? We only have 48 more power. Well, actually less than that. Let's say we have about 45 power moon missions to collect left. Guess where most of them come from? Hint art. This video, we're gonna be knocking those out of the way. Now, hint arts work in a particular manner. Let me get to there. Since I am not using a video editor in this series, in future series, I will be doing this. Oh wait, why do I even have to say that? You should already be seeing another series by the time this video gets uploaded. So anyway, here we go inside Peach's castle. You'll see images all over the place. Looking like this. I'll give you a hint. What you're supposed to do is take a photo of it. Then you'd go to your home menu and when the time comes, you would look at this picture and see if it matches correctly. However, I'm going to put in a little bit of a challenge. I am not to take any more photos starting now and the hint arts must come truly from memory. There are some other power moons we're missing in this kingdom because of achievements that I've yet to complete. At the hint art and the purple coins, those achievements should all be done. So before we go to the darker side, we'll have to check in. Now, how the hint art's going to work is that first, dark side is going to be for last. Since no other hint art moons is going to be located there. We'll be going to whatever kingdom hint art says the information is on. Now, I was able to pick up the hint. But the hint art in the Mushroom Kingdom is saying the power moon is located in the area where if you view the hot top X tower, the moon in the background will be positioned as the image says. So I will constantly look at the top X tower. Alright, let me check here. There we go! You also notice that the moons will look different. That was a Mushroom Kingdom power moon, or power star. And yes, it's because they're technically power moons claimed from other kingdoms. That, well, moved to other places. Next. In case you haven't figured this out, this is going to be the Moon Kingdom. The power moon is going to be behind... I'd like to say, it's blue with a green headband. The key colors we'll be looking for will be blue and green. Mostly blue. Or the second most left. Might be a better way of saying it. Oh yeah, even though the power moons we collect are going to be different colors, it's still not going to matter when we insert them into the Odyssey. Alright, we're going all the way to the Moon Kingdom. Here we go. Oh yeah, in case we happen to not find a hint art in a king in a particular kingdom or we don't have a certain kingdom where like boom, this is where we want to go next. We'll just go to the, the earliest kingdom that has hint art complete. So like if this leads to the cat kingdom, 
after you collect this heart, chart, we'll go to Cascade Kingdom. Wait, I forgot. I have to even do the hint art. Silly me. And there we go. Blue and green. Perfect description of a lotch lady. And there we go. Found within the Cap Kingdom art. Wonderful. Alright, now remember that the Power Moon is located in the ch in the Wedding Chapel. If I recall, it was in the Woody Kingdom. See, here it is. And I already see the Red Rust. Alright, seems that Poochie buried the Power Moon next to the Scarecrow in a corner. So we're gonna have to remember that. Now, no, now, for you, if you haven't played the game yet, which most of you probably have, you would already know this and have already done this. But those that haven't played the game before, first, thank you for watching this channel. I really appreciate that. Second off, you can take a photo and go to the home menu and look at it any time you want. I'm bringing a bit of a challenge here. There are maybe a couple scarecrows around, but I think the most noble scarecrow is going to be around here. And no, not exactly here. Wait. Yeah, not exactly here. Oh, that was... Darn it! Ah, crud. Shut up. I know where I am. I know what this means. Yeah, we've had enough T-Rex trouble for a living. Unfortunately, the T-Rex will only stay on his dirt path. So if I'm not near the dirt path, I should be fine. There we go, there's my seed gardener. And good, no T-Rex. Alright, my bet on that. This time I'll get correct. After my camera stops sh shifting. Oh, that actually works much more efficiently. The power moon apparently should be buried here. There we go! Found with the Moon Kingdom art. Let's go. And, believe it or not, there is also a Power Moon hint art here. Should you be surprised? You shouldn't. I also just realized that there's no hint art in the Cascade Kingdom. A while back, I stated that if we don't have anywhere to go, we'll go to the Earth Kingdom, for example, the Castic Kingdom. Never mind that. I should have said the Sand Kingdom. It's just the way it was structured. My mistake. And, in which, they can always be corrected. Like finding three purple coins that have not been collected before. Let's go to it. Alright, there's the, there's the hint art. Oh wait, those are... Oh wow, I don't look carefully, do I? Now here's the sand uh, king dart in the sand kingdom. It seems that I have to next to two bushes. It'll be good to know that. All right. 
we pretty much got all the power moons here. And now we just got all the purple coins. Let's spend them. Here you go. Thank you. Alright. I I know where the hint art is talking about. They say they don't do them in just remote locations. And I could have just taken the painting to go to Sand Kingdom. Even though it'll take pretty much about just as long time. Okay, maybe a little bit. Sh maybe this is a little bit longer. I'm sorry, but we're already doing it, so just accept fate. I mean, plus we already we got we happen to find our purple coins in the Wood Kingdom. Meaning, when the time comes for me to collect all the other purple coins, I don't have to worry about it. Well, at least for that kingdom. All right. Fortunately, we got all the purple coins in this kingdom. Now, yeah, I could have used a jack seed to get to travel faster. There should be a power moon here. Maybe here. Nope, let's try here. Okay. Maybe I should start up a game. Maybe the shop will disappear. Wait! Oh no! It was here. It's here. Okay, never mind. It seems that the Power Moon is not here. Maybe it's in one of these bushes? Maybe I wasn't looking carefully enough. I know the Koopa is looking in this direction. Maybe I wasn't looking carefully enough. First coin collection. You know what? That's enough. I want to take another look back in the Wood Kingdom. I thought I was correct. And now when I get the real power moon, I'll look like an idiot, won't I? I'm very well aware of these consequences. Now I'm willing to take this risk. Alright, the hint card said it was like here. No, this is the tree. Yeah, the arrow stated. Oh, I, I didn't know it's the compass. The compass must be, it's probably, it's probably a clue. We'll just take the Aussie to go back to the same kingdom. Okay. Fortunately, nothing terrible has happened yet. But... I just want to keep my cool streak. Okay, so we're supposed to go the Koopa Trace walking. This time I'm going to go to the Jaxi Ruins. Get on the Jaxi. See the Koopa. Alright, now I'm facing north. Do I have to just keep on going north? And I'll eventually find Hintart? Is that how it works? 
Wait, there's another duo of bushes. I mean, dried up shrubs. Alright, let's look. Maybe we're supposed to go even north even further. Yet again, I do not know. This seems to be a trickier power. Okay, that leads into the pit. I am not going down there. I had an arrow up that said north. Which I suppose was supposed to be a clue. Maybe the compass didn't matter. And yet, this is also a trio of dried shrubs. Not a duo. I still want to check this. Oh, that was close. Okay, yeah, I do not believe it's there. Seriously, where the heck is this? You know what? While we're at it, let's also look at the Toast Arena hint art. Alright, this is in Bowser's King. It says six checkpoint. This must be in rock distance. I do want to go back to the Wood Kingdom. Just make sure I was doing everything correctly. Because I'm sure it was the Sombrero Koopa, then arrows, and then two bushes. And I believe an X. Tell me I'm not wrong. Yep, I was correct. It seems to be centered as well. I mean, it seems that the compass might be a clue, but now I honestly don't know. It seems to be a little bit to the Koopa's top left instead of... Koopa's not really facing it. Let's try one more time. If I can't get it, I'm going to give up. Hmm. It's the only Koop Sombrero Koopa there, because Koopas are NPCs, they're not enemies in this game. And the only other Koopa is the Koopa Free Running Unit. <laughs> I'm gonna start a walking game. And then maybe if I do the walking... Nope, literally, what the heck? It's like this hint are broken. You could have assumed that the hint art was this way. But this is not really giving up much of a hint. Yep, 
Yeah, either the hint art has something inaccurate about it, or... I honestly don't know. I could also look at other duos of shrubs, see if they hold the power moon, which it probably won't. Let's find a check anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna have to call that a fail. Sorry. Next, we're going to be going to Bowser's Kingdom. Now, I suppose we're supposed to head to the souvenir shop to get the hint all. So yeah, it said three from the checkpoint. I'd like to assume that's here or here. There we go. Okay, that was a much easier hint art to find. Next we have to go to the main courtyard. Here we are. We have to look at the hint art. Here it is. This also happens to be in the same thing. It's near a cactus on the edge of the border. Jesus. Oh, okay. The background also seems to give up some nice clip. Also, the cactus also seems to be off position. No, it doesn't. Alright, back to the Sand Kingdom then. Also, it seemed that I was correct about the mo the the Wood Kingdom hint art. We were supposed to go north, although the real location is nowhere near the Sombrero Koopa for the Blue Moon. Just looked up. Yeah, I mean, I kind of get it. But that was that was kind of a cheap move. I'm gonna go here. Use the jacksy for fast travel. Apparently, the, hint, the moon is here. And while this is north from the, the trace walking, it is far north. And no one ha should have to take that far of a distance to find it. Right, we'll collect about half of these coins. Okay, almost all of them. We want to leave a few of them for other visitors. I remember Poochie saying he buried the moon near a cactus with the lower ledge in the back with this lower ledge of sand in the background. So yeah, this will be a little bit of a brain teaser. I might have to go the other side. The sand is still in the background. Yet again, I am not sure this is the correct solution. Just have to go with my gut. It worked! Alright! Hmm. 
That went much surprisingly than I thought it was going to go. But nevertheless, we continue. Alright, off to the lit Lake Kingdom. Right. Oh right, it seems that the hint dart is over here. So after making a nice bit of keep, the hint dart states that it's going to be in the Casting Kingdom, near the closest piece of bone next to Uncle Amiibo. It was basically a find a difference situation. And it seemed that that difference was there was a certain bone missing. Or a piece of bone. May have been a rib. I'm not going to get myself too fat up on details. Oh, okay. So with a piece of bone here. We got ourselves to Lake Kingdom Art. Here's our pink moon. We found the cat taking. And it turns yellow. Wonderfully. Now I believe now we go to the, the, the Metro Kingdom next. I don't think there was a... I can look back in episode 43. But I'm pretty sure there wasn't a hint art in the... Lost Kingdom, and there definitely wasn't one in the Cloud Kingdom. Are right, this going by relatively fast? Yeah, I was right. We collected all the. We collected all the moons in the Cloud and Lost Kingdoms. To make travel faster, I'm just going to instantly hop on a rooftop. But I know this hint art is kind of hard to reach. This is in the Lake Kingdom. I definitely recognize that circle in the top. It seems to be a rectangular tile. Okay, I think I got the pattern. For fast travels, I can take the painting. It's hard to describe where the location is on words. I'm pretty sure I know where the location is based on the painting. Or the photo. I guess that would be much more logical description. We'll go to the water closet entrance. We need to go to the top. So we're near the elevator. Just where I recognize that circle. From the tile pattern. It seems that was the pooch buried it somewhere here. Time with the tiles. Tile work, but I think I may have forgotten where where the art is. Never mind. It doesn't matter now. I found it. All right, that's good. Only three more moves to get there. Alright, 
Let me... Okay, the hat's on the sale. Next we go to the Snow Kingdom. Unless that does not have a power at hint art, which I doubt it's case. Yep, that was the Snow Kingdom art. Unfortunately, they do not they're not telling me where it is. I will buy my way in the final location. Okay, it's in the town. I was hoping that wouldn't be because now I have to find because well the town is a much more broad area. It could be in any of the four rooms, it could be in... Like, the range is vast. I think they would put it somewhere around in the main area. Wait, there it is. Okay, this is in the Lost Kingdom. Okay. I've got its location. And yes, by simply just looking at it, I know where it is. Okay, we're missing seven purple coins here. Let's see if I can find them. But, it's okay if I don't. That's why I test things. Okay, it was like near some stumps. We're missing two purple coins here. That is also good now. Now it's possible I've never noticed them and they've been hiding in plain sight this whole time. That'd be embarrassing, and I hope it's not, but... If one of you happens to be an active viewer, it might be helpful, it might not. Say in, con if the, in the comment section if I've skipped past the power moon, these purple coins. Anyway, we got ourselves the orange power moon. Well, the hentai power moon. And I got myself in a purple bath. Okay. Man, it's our blimp a little higher. Alright, this was our ninth time so far. Okay, now we go to the Seaside Kingdom. I'm pretty sure there is. Okay, I, don't, I know there is also purple coins missing here too. I'm not here for that. Okay, we're missing six purple coins. Good to know. Keep. Okay, clearly says keep. Ooh. I'd like to assume it's in the Metro Kingdom. But... I just gotta remember it's in the, between the two E's. <sighs> Actually, it's a little bit tricky. Let's do the moon check. Alright. Yeah. We got what we needed there. Hopefully, I don't have to look that hard for. Keep. I'm kind of scared since I'm I'm guessing it's in the Metro Kingdom, since that's where they'd probably have big billboards. 
and that stuff. Wait, there it is. Keep, clear keep. Okay, this seems to be much relieved than the problem I thought. Alright, I was right to guess the Metro Kingdom. Ah, thank goodness. Alright, my thinking was- my thinking was correct! So I gotta get myself prepared for that one. Alright, 850 pounds. And finally we'll be going to the Launching Kingdom. This one not- this did not go the way I thought would go, but whatever. I thought I'd be traveling kingdom to kingdom, getting fed power moves, but nope. Most of these hentarts are just leading the previous kingdoms, which is cool and all. But not what I was expecting. Okay, I thought the hentart would here. But now that clearly- wait, I was right, it is here. Okay, there's a seaside kingdom. Uh, that's not very specific, Kapuchi. But sure, it's in the top of that sea of- uh, that coral column. I'll have to go with my gut and go with it. Wait, the Seaside Kingdom is right here. The lighting was good, maybe it wasn't it. Yeah, the Seaside Kingdom is one of the bigger kingdoms in the game. So this is going to be a harder one to find that result. The Gushin is basically the fast way of transport, but I can't see underwater. Although I can guess it's like in a passageway. I want to assume it's like in the eastern section. So, what? I meant western. So yeah, let me take a look here. Definitely seems to be in like this underwater trail. I need to find a rock where Mario where Cappy could get attacked. Okay, I think it would be somewhere around here, but clearly it doesn't seem like I'm right. There's no rock here, so this can't be it. Wait, that looks exactly like in the end. I think this is it. There's only one way to find out. Yes! All right, we got the Lunching Kingdom to our room. And I actually have to admit, the side moons would actually fit perfectly in this environment. Just looking at it. It would. Well, that'll do all for today's video. I'll do the dark side in the next video. Don't ask for more. This is 40 minutes of content, pretty much. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you next time.